says, be strong and courageous. Then he tells them what not to do. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. Something within me rises to Joshua's defense. I can't help it if I feel afraid. And I can't help it if I feel discouraged. How can you tell me not to feel afraid, God, when all of these battles that I've never fought before are waiting in front of me? How can you tell me not to be afraid when I'm leading people who have only known the wilderness into warfare? How can you tell me not to be discouraged when I have to go in under-resourced and maybe overwhelmed? How can, you, how can you tell me not to feel afraid and not to feel discouraged? But God didn't say, don't feel afraid. And he didn't say, don't feel discouraged. I think the essence of what God wants to say to you is just because you feel afraid doesn't mean you have to be afraid. Just because you feel discouraged doesn't mean you have to be discouraged. Just because you have fear doesn't mean fear has to have you. Come on, talk to me, somebody. And for most of us, our default setting is fear and discouragement. Our default setting in the situations that are unfamiliar to us is anxiety and discouragement. You see, God has given you a destiny. I want you to believe that, even if you can't see it right now, and even if it's not your destiny to lead millions of people into the promised land. God has given you a destiny as a parent. God has given you a destiny on your job. It's part of your destiny. God has given you a job to do. And no, you're not Joshua, but you have a job to do. I would like for you to repeat after me the following declaration. I have a destiny. All right, now I need you to know that the bigger the destiny, the bigger the enemies. That was helpful for me to realize because in seasons of my life, I was, I, was, I, was, I was hard on myself, feeling like there was something wrong with me. And it's because God's promises in my life, while they seemed attractive, sometimes aren't so automatic as we think that they should be. In the text that I read to you, God is telling Joshua that the real enemies to your destiny are not the Canaanites. The real enemy of your destiny are not the Hittites. The real enemies of your destinies are not the Jebusites. These are all the people that he would face as he moved forward in faith. But God wants Joshua to know that your real enemy is not another person. Your real enemy is not even a situation. Because if you don't know this, you'll spend your whole life fighting the wrong things. God says, let me tell you what to fight. Fight your fear. Let me tell you what to fight. Fight your discouragement. If you can fight discouragement, you can fulfill your destiny. I'm going to say it over my shoulder to the left side of the room. If you can fight your fear, if you can face your fear, you can move forward into your destiny.